Hello students, let's do trigonometry. <laughs> okay, this is a uh, SPM 2001 paper 1 question. Yeah, of course the numbers, uh, I changed the numbers a little bit, but uh, it's a similar question. So uh, let's have a look at it. It says, uh, given that sine x is 5 over 13, and that x is obtuse, calculate without using a calculator the value of tangent 2x and cos x over 2. So basically, this question requires you to use, look at this, yeah? It requires you to use double angle formula, and this is a half angle formula. Okay, so this is the first thing you must understand. You need to know which formula to apply because there's lots of it in this chapter. <laughs> okay, now, uh, now sine x is 5 over 13. Now, if you have watched my previous video on the addition formula, so you will know that this is the same technique to answer this kind of question. When they say sine x is given to you and that x is obtuse, you're supposed to know uh, how to draw the triangle on your own. If x is obtuse based on the unit uh, circle x would be between 90 to 180 that is in quadrant 2 so if it is in quadrant 2 the first step you have to do is to draw your triangle okay and you must draw it correctly quadrant 2 will be here so basically this would be x but the equivalent or the reference angle is here so that's x yeah obtuse now, it says sine is 5 over 13, which is correct, it's positive, sine is positive in the second quadrant, and it is 5 over 13, so this should be 5, and this should be 13, and therefore, this will be negative 12, alright, remember that uh, the x would be negative over here. Now, the moment you have this triangle, and make sure that it is correct, you will be able to answer any question related that they ask, whatever, tangent, cos, sine, double angle addition, or uh, half angle, the way to do is always the same. Now, tangent 2x, yeah, so it's double angle, so refer to the double angle formula list. And uh, here's how it is like, I'm going to write out the formula. Tangent 2x would equal to 2 tangent x over 1 minus tangent square x and now all you have to do is to substitute the correct value from the triangle that you have drawn 2 of tangent x tangent x is 5 over negative 12 right so that's 2 negative 5 over 12 over 1 minus tangent square so it will be negative 5 over 12 because that's tangent and square of it. That's what it means. Yeah, tangent square x means the square of the value of tangent x. Okay, so now calculator time. That would give you negative 5 over 6 over 119 over 144 and negative 120 over 119. So that would be the value of tangent to x that you can calculate without using a calculator. So leave it in fraction. All right, leave it in fraction because you're supposed to leave it in fraction if you don't use a calculator. So that is A. All right, and for B, we are going to do it in the next uh, video. All right, we'll do it in the next video.